This is a Harman Kardon FL8400 multiple disc changer. Listen to this. Power on. I hear a motor running. Let's try that again with the microphone detached. Power off. Power on. Bad belt? Possibly. Let's take this thing to bits and see what's going on inside. Well, somehow I managed to get the bottom off of this thing. And what an afterthought this was. Let's power this up. I think it's that motor right there making the noise. So I'll power it off again. Power it back on. And try to move the gear. It was making a uh, tonal difference moments ago. Yep. Yep, so we got to remove this mechanism out of here. Hopefully it'll come out peacefully. We'll see. Well, it was relatively painless getting this thing out of there. Just the four perimeter screws and that's it. But check this out. The motor is not turning. That belt is slipping so bad that even if I turn the motor by hand, it won't grab the, the pulleys. It's trying. There, I got it to move. Nope, not going to happen. This thing is toast. So we're going to have to remove that washer or that C-clip. I'm thinking the C-clip is the better choice at this point. Let's pull that C-clip out and we'll pull the shaft right out of there and move forward. Okay, C-clip is off. And look at that, the shaft came right out. No problems. And see if we can get the belt out of here peacefully. Yes, we can. Oh my gosh. Take a look at that belt. It's been in that position for years. It's not changing. It's just been in that one position for years and years. Well, let me see if I have a replacement. I probably do. Might not be the perfect size, but I bet I can find one that will work from some of my new old stock belts. So according to the PRB Measure a Belt 2, it does tighten up at just over two and a quarter inches. So I want to reduce that size by a little bit. And I do have a replacement belt right here that does tighten up just barely above two inches. So I'm going to be pretty happy with that because this one was tight right there. This one gets tight at just over two inches. So let's go ahead and clean it up, put it on, give it a test. We may have to change another belt once we can get the mechanism to load or unload. And people have asked me, where can I get my own PRB measure a belt to? Well, unless you're a PRB dealer, you can't. Maybe search it on eBay or Amazon or a belt measuring system. I'm not sure, unfortunately. I don't have any source for this. This is one that I've had since I did repairs back in the 80s. Okay, new belt is installed. Let's power this thing up and see if we get better results. And no, we do not. So let's go ahead and try to pull out the other motor and see what it has to say. And yeah, it's just, 
in as bad a shape. Oh, oh, look at that lump. Holy moly. No wonder it doesn't work. All right, well, let's go ahead and measure that belt and see what it measures up as. So tight, this thing measures up to just under three and a half inches. So I'd like to find something that's between about two, seven, five and three inches to replace this. Well, let me see what I got. And I do have a replacement that measures right at three inches. So let's give it the acetone treatment, install it, and hopefully that will remedy all of this customer's complaints. Oh, it's like the Jelly of the Month Club. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It won't turn. Oh, really? This thing just keeps on giving. Well, let's take the turntable off and see what's underneath. Well, that certainly escalated quickly. It's definitely become more work than I anticipated. Just a one hour labor charge. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get this loading motor out of here. This is what turns the turntable. And as you can see, if I rotate it, there is minimal movement. I believe that belt is just as toasted as the other ones were. Let's see if I can disconnect this connector easily. Oh, really? They freaking glued it. Oh my God. <sighs> really right now? Wow. Okay. Well, we've got to get that belt off somehow. So at least there's a clip I can pull off on this end. So pull it off and push the glue out, I guess. Okay. Well, I did get the clip off the end and I'm just going to try to break away some of this glue under here and hopefully the shaft will begin to come out on its own so that I can push it through the rest of the way. Ah, oh, the glue does not want to cooperate whatsoever. Okay, shaft has been pushed out. And the retained clip stayed behind. Wonderful. Well, I did rescue the clip at least. Okay, so it's been reinstalled, ready for assembly. And look at that, we have another permanently stretched belt. I believe it's exactly the same size as the mechanism loading belt. Well, let's see if I can find another one. Okay, so once again, it does measure just over two and a quarter inches. And the replacement belt that I have begins to tighten up right at two inches. So I think that's gonna be the only choice I have because the next one is almost three inches.
Okay, I have the disc in the unit and I'm just using my little magnet clamp right here. It's just gonna sit right there. Let's skip to the next disc. And it read the table of contents. Let's hit play. Perfect. It appears to be playing absolutely perfectly. So I'm just gonna go and do a quick cleaning on this unit and get it ready to ship back to my customer. So it did definitely need all three belts replaced. Okay, well there it is all back together. And the pre-molded belts have been removed from the unit. Let's go ahead and pop a disc into it. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to put the disc in position number five right there. We'll close the drawer. It's going to read the table of contents. We'll hit play over here. We'll skip ahead a few tracks. Well, there it is. Playing just great. Another one saved from the recycle bin, the Harman Kardon FL8400 Compact Disc Changer. Made in 1995. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the video on the repair of the FL8400. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're done, they hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Please be patient. I have a full-time job and I do these repairs in my spare time. If you try to contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, please be aware it might be weeks or even months before I respond. I rarely check those messages. If you want to contact me, please use the Gmail account only. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everyone, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Well, once again, that belt's been sitting in that same position for many, many years. And so tight, this one measured up to just under three and a half. Let's take that again. Let's get it into view. Hello. Okay, disc is loaded, it's clamped. Let's go ahead and hit play, make sure it actually plays. Skip through a couple tracks. And it plays. There's only three tracks on the disc. 